I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll, we'll find out what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of Wands, and it's with the Page of Swords. Now the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire type of energy. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or some other sign, but usually Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when it's not referring to an actual person, it can actually stand for getting a lot accomplished. It could be focused on work or career. The queen is very positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for an actual person in your life, she's a good friend who's, who is solidly on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get the Queen of Wands in a reading, well, this is one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, it's with the Page of Swords, which can some, it can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it represents someone who's younger than you. Because when you hear the word Page in the tarot, that indicates a student, it could indicate youth, immaturity, or someone just younger than you. Now, this does indicate that there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and this page has a huge sword in his hands, it's, it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could, it could feel like they're stepping on your toes, so you might need to study the body language of this person and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. So, Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, clarified by the Page of Swords for the recent past energy between you and your person, what I'm picking up on is that you you were dealing with someone who was very, very determined about the connection. They were confident that um, they could make things happen between you and them. Now, you could have been uh, younger than this person. Yeah, you could have been younger by a few days, a few months or maybe even some years, or decades, who knows. But, um, yeah, this person was very determined about you, very adamant. Um, yeah, and I'm getting that your age, it, didn't bo it did not bother them, but they saw you as someone that... Um, that likes to bring conflict. That's how they. That's how they see you as someone who enjoys a little bit of conflict or a good fight or a good argument or maybe you like to debate or something. Yeah, because Page of Swords can be about mild conflict. Um, Page of Swords will keep tabs on people. Page of Swords will do a lot of watching, maybe stalking. But this person was determined about you. They didn't care about any of that. No, it, it maybe it bothered them a little bit, but this person was into you. They were very confident and very determined, very adamant about you and the connection. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got this Three of Cups. And it's with the Knight of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is actually considered to be a card of reunions. Now, it could be a romantic union. It could also be in the broadest sense of running back into 
or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. Now, this is considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own, or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of a really happy occasion. Yeah, very happy. So, it's with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this Knight of Cups is very optimistic. Really good card to see in a reading. Now, this one does come with messages, so someone is trying to reach out. And usually, they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups tells you that things are going to be going well, so you are likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card, it, also, it often means good news, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Yeah, someone's reaching out. They're headed your way really soon. So, coming up, Sagittarius, Three of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so you got someone that's rushing towards you, this Nine of Cups. Yeah, and then I'm, I'm getting a couple of people here. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up on more than one person. So you've got this Three of Cups. you got somebody that you used to know trying to be with you. And it's saying it's going to be a happy, rejoiceful come, come together. Somebody that you used to know could be trying to make a return, Sagittarius. But then you've got this Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, yeah. So this could actually be, yeah, this person who's very determined about you, they could be rushing towards you, being romantic and sensitive. That's what Nine of Cups does. For some of you, it's, it's this person that's very determined about you. Yeah, reaching out to you with messages. And wanting to communicate. But then you've got this, looks like you could be, you could be, um, approached by this determined person and you've got someone that you used to know that's reaching out to you. Yeah, so you got, you got, to, you're going to be busy coming up. Yeah, everybody's coming in all at once. That's what it seems like. You know how that goes. It's either feast or famine. So yeah, somebody from the past is reaching out. It's saying it's going to be a really happy return. And then you've got this very determined person. They're rushing towards you, wanting to, to be with you. Being romantic and sensitive. Like I said, this person is determined about you. So they they um they know that you're you bring a little drama, but they uh, they're they're really into you. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups. And we got the Seven of Wands. Now, the Ace of Cups is actually a very powerful, positive card in the tarot when it comes to love, happiness, affection, like all the Aces. It's actually about new beginnings. And although it usually can mean love, it does indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So, things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill, more than usually at this time. So you should be feeling really good about life overall. It's a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Now, to the seven of, seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have... They'll be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, but it's going to be the time 
to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. The Seven of Wands. It points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So your challenge, Sagittarius, Ace of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Wands. So yeah, wow, everyone's, like I said, everyone's coming in all at one time. Yeah, for some of you, this is a third person. Yeah, you, somebody's really, some Sagittarius, you're going to be really busy coming up the end of January. Really busy. But anyways, this Ace of Cups, this person that's coming, coming back, somebody that you used to know, this Three of Cups here, they, it looks like for a lot of you, they're go they're go they are going to want to have a new beginning with you. And that's what the Ace of Cups is about. This, when you two come together, you will rejoice. You will celebrate. It's going to be a very happy return. And they, they're going to have deep attraction for you. And a lot of warmth. That's what the Ace of Cups is. And this person is going to want a new beginning with you. They want a fresh new start. And then the Seven of Wands, um, your person that's very determined about you, that's rushing in being romantic and sensitive as the Knight of Cups, well, they could know or they could be finding out that you're saying hello to someone that you used to know. So that's why they're rushing in. They want to be the last man standing. That's what the Seven of Wands is about. Winning. It's about being the last man standing. So you got, you got a busy, busy January coming up, Sagittarius. You got your, um, someone that you used to know. And then you got this person that's very determined about you. Yeah. And they want to be the last man standing. They want to win the connection with you. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what this outcome is. We got the Six of Cups. And we got the Hierophant. Now, the Six of Cups is a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood, so it's going to be important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days, because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time, but if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, what's with the Hierophant? The Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great loyal friend when you're called on for advice. Or help with some important matters. Your intelligence and empathy puts you in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone that you know. This person will be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher, marked by integrity. Yeah, they are the genuine article. The real deal, the true blue, highly admired individuals who walk the walk, they talk the talk, and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. Okay, Sagittarius, you got, you have these two cards here, Six of Cups and Three of Cups, they talk about Someone that you used to know, or just looking back. So, yeah. What's interesting is that I'm getting for a lot of you, um, this person that's returning, this Three of Cups. It's a happy comeback together. You two rejoice and you celebrate. They want a new beginning with you. They want a fresh new start. They got a lot of warmth and deep attraction for you. 
And it, look, it looks like the outcome you're leaning towards this person that you used to know. Yeah, because you're being nostalgic. You're looking back on all the happy memories that you two shared. Yeah. You're looking back and you're like, wow. The two of you have made so many great memories. But then the Hierophant is here, so... Yeah, for some of you, you got a, you got a lot of happy memories with this person, but you might be um, more concerned about honesty, integrity. I mean, because why did you two break up in the first place? Were they not loyal? Were they not sincere? Were they not honest? So you might have some concerns. But yeah, you're leaning towards this person that you used to know. Yeah, but you got you you in the back of your head, you're you're concerned if this person you're wondering if they've changed for the better or are they still like they used to be. But you're looking back on the great memories that the two of you had. And you're leaning toward you're leaning towards somebody that you used to know. Yes, you are. They want a new beginning with you, and you're thinking about it. Yeah, but your only concern is is that you don't know if they've changed or not. Yeah, because the higher thing is here. It's it's indicating that. You want to know if they can be loyal and sincere and true this time. So yes, Sagittarius, you got a couple of people chasing you. You still got this person that that's very determined, this and adamant about you, the Queen of Wands. They're rushing in to be romantic and sensitive towards you. They want to win the connection too. So you be busy, busy, busy. Yeah. You, you probably have a couple of dates for Valentine's Day. So yeah, make a smart choice. That's the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season, along with all the crazy in the news. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, keep in mind the other people or persons can be a friend, a family member, co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.